Okay, so after the W1 limiter or L1 or whatever limiter you would like to use there to give it a quick boost, I then go into the Ozone 5 module. Now, I did a whole video on this. Ozone is a wonderful package. Uh, the maximizer's probably one of the best I've heard. It's so clean, but yeah, it does add a nice sheen to it as well. It's got its own character. Now, I would often use the other modules as well, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to show you what I do with the maximizer. So we've boosted it a couple of dB already, as we can see. So at the moment, we'd got it up to, I think, minus 11, something like that. We're going to now boost it just a little bit more, a quick tour of what the maximizer here does. You've got different release modes. This is really down to personal taste. You would play it through and see which one you wanted to use. Into sample detection, something you don't see on many maximizers, very useful. What that will do is check the peaks that occur between the sample detection in case something is going above minus 0 0.1 every time ozone checks it and it basically makes sure nothing can go over so it's more of a brick wall effect than you would normally have on a maximizer you can change further release character here from as you see very slow transparent smooth very fast and loud which is quite pumping i like it on the smooth setting somewhere around four stereo link makes sure that the maximizing occurs equally on both sides of the stereo spectrum regardless of whether one side is slightly louder than the other, it will help balance it well. Dithering, now important to notice this with maximizers, some, especially the L series by Waves, this one here, they do come with dithering and you only want to dither once when you are doing a mastering session and you only want to dither if you are bouncing down from 24-bit to 16-bit. There are few debates over whether it's entirely necessary or whether you should be doing it more than that, but that is the general rule you should work to. When you're working down from 24-bit to 16-bit, you should dither. There are mathematical reasons for that. I won't bore everyone with now. Only do it once. That is also a very important rule. This limit peaks option, very good. Again, that helps with the brick wall limiting. And a DC filter makes sure that's on as well, because that's something I will cover in another video at some point, but it's useful to have DC filtering on there. Another thing I like about this maximizer is that this visual representation up here, you'll see as we get going and I start messing with it, it's showing you where it's starting to maximize and compress the sound. So it's another good visual representation of uh, quite how much effect you're having on the audio. So let's give it a go. So we've already boosted with the W1. We're going to now add this in. You'll notice how clear this is. It's really, really good. But again, I don't want to go much above two, which should add maybe another one dB to the uh, RMS. Let's see what happens. You can see uh, the visualization there and also the activity happening around the threshold here and how much it was starting to affect it. I actually pulled it back a bit. That looked like it was going to be doing a bit too much for my liking. So looking at the RMS values here, uh, they've reset themselves. I think they got up to about minus 10. This is not going to be quite as accurate as a long term one, but it's accurate for the section we were looking at. So getting closer to the minus 10 there and that was... Uh, that was pretty good, and as you probably did notice as well, or or probably couldn't hear, it didn't really change the sound at all, it just made it a bit louder. It's so clean, this one, it's a wonderful one. Ozone 5, brilliant one worth getting because you get all these other things with it as well. And after Ozone, there is one further maximizer that I like to add, and that is the Waves L3 Multi. This is the LL version, which is low latency. I'm only using this one because I'm using my computer to record the voice Cubase and the screen capture software as well. So I want to try and keep my CPU usage as low as possible. I haven't detected any difference in sound between this one and the non-low latency version. I believe you get both in a bundle if you buy the L3. So 
it really, I, I think it's just a, there's no real difference other than the latency. Multiband, it can be really easy to mess up your sound at this stage. I try not to use the EQ part of this very much because, it, it, as I say, it, it's so easy just to make things sound bad. It's not great as an equaliser. If you're finding you need to make a change to the high or low end at this stage in the mix, you've gone wrong somewhere earlier on. This is better at just... The reason I like using a multiband limiter or maximizer last is that it's better and more effective at maximizing the different frequency bands so it keeps everything smoother as long as you don't mess with it too much one thing the l3 does really well though is this priority option you can see down here priority is how much of the frequency band it's going to let through in comparison to the other bands when everything's set to zero, it will give everything equal priority. If you drag something up or down, it will prioritize it with a positive figure over another frequency, or it will cut it off in preference of the other priority figures. Good way is to demonstrate this. You'll see low mids are something people like to pull out. So let's, well, we'll leave it at zero for now. What I'll do is get this playing, and you'll see when I pull the priority down, it starts pulling down the low mids more than it starts pulling down everything else. So the usual thing, get the ceiling to minus 0 0.1. I'm going to get this up to a random, quite high threshold just to demonstrate the priority and you can see what effect this has. That's pretty obvious to see there. You see, that works in a similar way to raising or lowering the gain, but it's smoother, it's less pronounced, it, it makes things a bit easier on the ear that way. So often priority is going to be better for you to mess with than the gain. Really, I like to leave the gain at zero, as I say, and just change the priority. Now, this will vary track to track. In metal, as I say, it's often the low mids that you maybe want to pull out a bit more. It can also maybe be some of the high end if there's maximizers do increase the harshness quite a lot so often i will drag down the priority of the high end quite a lot and uh, maybe a bit of the second band in terms of where you set your bands i like to keep a sub section 64 and below the sort of bass and kick section 64 to around 200 problem area in metal the 250 to 1k area and then really the top two bands, it's going to be taste depending on how what your guitar sound is and you've got any synths or strings and other effects in there, but that type of thing should, should see you well for that. Normally I wouldn't go with a minus 7 dB. Again, I'm only looking at maybe adding another dB or two. We'll see. This isn't quite as transparent as the others, but as I say, it's the multi-band aspect that seems to work quite well as a final limiter. So i let you have a listen to how my settings here would maybe affect the final sound. You can see that really working on the, the kick there. Uh, but without making the kick sound too dull. So it works well. I've added two more dB there. It doesn't quite relate to 2 dB of RMS, but you'll see I've had the analyzer running. We've now managed, in fact, to get it to a nice round minus 9.5, which I would be perfectly happy with as a final mix. So there you have it. That's the maximizer chain that I currently use. Uh, some of those free ones are really good, as I say, but really something i think waves invented maximizers if i remember correctly i may be incorrect there but i'm fairly sure they they had something to do with it the the l series is uh well worth getting your hands on if you need a single one that's a good commercial one i think the ozone one is probably the best one to get because you also get the other modules with that so thanks very much for watching i hope it's been of some help as usual and please do leave me some comments if you want again the google plus comment and messaging system is still messed up 
I had some messages from December only appear in my inbox about a week ago, so I tried replying to them. Hopefully people didn't think I was ignoring them. So uh, if you don't get an answer, please do try again, or maybe just be patient, and hopefully they will get through to me in the end. Thanks very much. Bye. Are we given all that you take? You like strength that leads to burn